get ready with me for the world championships of Irish dance. I am gonna do my wig with you. I actually dyed the front half of my hair, but like bleached it to match my wig. So this is my wig and that's the color of the hair. So for starters, I'm sh sectioning off just where the bleach is. So just like that on each side. I look insane. So once I have those sectioned off, I just put, I twist them and then put a bobby pin in them so that they don't get in the way, just like that. And then we put the hair up. I started doing my own wig when I was really young. Like I was 10 or 11, I think. And I hated the way my mom did it because she always put bobby pins in that really, really hurt. So I, decided I was taking over and I've been doing it ever since. Since I wear a full wig, this does not have to be pretty. It just has to be stable. So that's where I put the ponytail, just bringing it as far up onto the head as I can because you want the wig to sit like closer to the front. Now we split the hair and then we braid down each side. I am super, super excited for this year's worlds. Um, I'm just like so excited, I can't even explain it. This is actually a brand new wig that I bought yesterday and it's a different style than I normally get so I'm a little bit nervous putting this on but I'm just winging it and going for it. Here's the thing about dyeing the front pieces of my hair is that I don't have to use any of the blonde spray which is really nice because um, I don't always think it looks the best on me but I look like an albino in real life. This shade of blonde does not suit me. Okay, next I'm taking a donut that's cut in half and I'm pinning it directly in front of my ponytail. Then I'm gonna take the braids and pin them in on top. So literally just like that, and I can pin them all down. This is like the base for your wig, so you wanna make sure that this is super secure. Once this is on, it's wig time. I know a lot of people go from bottom and then bring it up, but I actually prefer to take the comb and shove it directly into the bottom of the donut and then flip it back around. Just wait, it gets better. Okay, now it's combed in the bottom, combed in the top. The next step is secure the entire thing. So I always go in with big bobby pins. The big ones are way better. And I pin around the rim and I pin it like as close to my face as I can. And that's all pinned in. Now come to part two to see the rest. This is part two of getting ready with me for the world championships of Irish dance while I do my wig. So everything is already secure. I've put all the bobby pins around the corners so that it's nice and secure. And in the back, I put some into the donut, which the donut just sits right here. Now we go in and we pin all the curls the way we want it. I like the look of having the curls in the front kind of pinned back like this. So I start in the center and I pin down and up. I usually do this. Just like that. And then I do the same over here, down and up, because you love to have a bit of height in the wig and you just keep pinning into the donut. Okay, now I've got the top of the curls sitting exactly where I want them to. Believe it or not, it's time to put the crown on. So this is also a new crown for me that I just got at Camellia Rose. This is the black crown and then a black and white crown. So I use two and I just layer them. So I'm gonna go like this and pin that in. And that's nice and secure. And you can always go back and fuss with it after. And then I pin this one just like this. Okay, I know it looks a little crazy right now, but from afar, this is gonna look unreal. And now it's time to do the poof. So like I said, my hair is dyed. So I get the luxury of being able to take my hair and go over my actual wig, which makes things a lot easier. But I do a hair split right down the center of the crown. So just like that. I don't know if you can kind of see it. It all sits like right in that one area. Then I go with the big side first and I take some hairspray, hairspray that just like that, and then take a comb and back comb as much as possible. You want this to be super, super teased. If you have thinner hair, sometimes I use this. It's like a powder and you just put it in and it gives it a little bit more grip and life. And once that's sufficiently teased, I go underneath and I start creating the swoop poof. So you kind of fuss with it until you find a position that you like. I like this one. So I'm gonna pin that in 
literally just like that. And then you can always like pin that down more or pin it up further. Then that's obviously my real hair and I just take it over and pin it right into the back. And now I do the same on the other side. Once those are how I like them, I just spray. Now for the final step, it's pinning all the curls. So I don't like it when my curls bounce too much. So I like to pin all of them just down. Okay, and this is what the hair looks like. And now for the final reveal of my hair and makeup. Don't act like you forgot. I caught a shot, shot, shot. Like blah, blah, blah.